He's very athletic for his size, so he can take off and go, and certainly he's got a heck of an arm. And the first pass of 2024 is caught by Kenny Johnson. They want to snap it no later than every 15 seconds in between plays, and they go to the ground to the Western Carolina transfer Desmond Reed for a pickup of four. Not only that, I mean, we talked with, with Coach Cade Bell this week. He says Eli could throw the ball 40 times a game. There's another one. Oh, and what a grab over the middle by Poppy Williams. That is by Eli Holstein. Oh, and met in the backfield is Reed. Spins out of trouble. Reed breaking tackles across the 40. Squirts out of that and picks up about six yards. Met by Stephen Daly right as he received the handoff. Here's Kanate Mumpfield shaking loose. This pit offense is looking pretty good for their first game of the yeah, season. And, and absolutely. Expect to see this guy maybe carry the ball 25 times. He can catch it out of the backfield as well. Holstein, deep shot for Kenny Johnson, and it's caught at the goal line. Oh, what a play. 46 yards. And really no time for a replay because they're going to hustle up to the line of scrimmage as fast as possible. What a throw by Holstein. And Looking left into the end zone, and it's Muckfield for a touchdown. There could be a more perfect start for a quarterback making his first career start than what Eli Holstein just but it's going to take some getting used to. Six new coaches, including the offensive coordinator, and of course, a new QB1. Oh! Reed spinning out of two tackles. Now he's got some space. Desmond Reed. There he goes. Inside the 40. Reed will take it to the house. And then all of a sudden, Desmond Reed is out the gates. Convoy down the sidelines, taking this thing to the house. Boy, all pit early, 14-0 from the Steel City. For Kent State and for many offenses around the country, it is the quarterback wearing the green dot. Cardsman quickly out. It's Luke Floria who is brought down by Philip O'Brien Jr. Defensive front, particularly in the front seven, but they have looked good early against Kent State. Swing pass out to Thomas, makes a man miss. Across the 50 and lowering the shoulder. Definitely four down territory, I think. Back to Thomas, they won't need four downs. Barreling ahead for a first down for Kent State. And it's creating a problem for Cardsman. Low snap, the handoff, and again, stuffed in the backfield. It was a combination of Jimmy Scott Cardsman over the middle and caught for a touchdown. Luke Floria takes it to the house. And right back in it come the golden flashes. And then they sort of come back on the opposite side with Floria. You know, they play a lot of quarters here at Pittsburgh. That's their base defense. Well, that, that is a quarters beater right there. Lone win last year was against Central Connecticut of the FCS. Back to receive, Pitts, Kenny Johnson. Making one man miss, Johnson out to the 30. And Pitt's special teams have looked really good to start. Derek Davis remains in the backfield. Quick throw goes out to Bartholomew and he's gonna try to pick up all of what they lost with the holding penalty. Yesterday we found out he's ruled ineligible for the entire 2024 season. Holstein is taken down in the backfield. And that's a big-time sack by Naeem Muhammad. The ball on a wheel route on the outside, but a really nice job by Caleb Johns. Third and 17. On play action, Holstein flushed out and taken down again. Cameron Olds, the Buffalo transfer. Perfect job never giving up on this play. Coming off the right side and just continues to fight gets back upfield as you know Holstein steps up in the pocket nowhere to go first team all Mac handoff goes nowhere as the pit front was in the backfield Brandon George and Kyle Lewis he went eight for nine with 106 yards so far in this game and a touchdown Holstein pulls it down and dragged down at the 25 
Holstein lets it fly. Kenny Johnson holds it in in midfield. And a first down for the Panthers. And it really has to be a perfect throw, and that's exactly what Holstein did. Holstein quickly out to Williams for a pickup of three. Preseason third team all ACC. Perhaps the final play of the first quarter. A handoff to Desmond Reed, who is just so shifty. Making a couple of men miss for a four-yard game. They sneak one more play in. It's Reed sidestepping a tackler. There goes Reed down the sideline. And he brings it inside the 15. How about that to close the first quarter in Pittsburgh? Going to go to quarter. And a great run to cap off the first quarter by Desmond Reed in this Pitt offense. 14-7 from Pitt. Kate Beatty comes in for Stephen Daly, who has to go out with the helmet issue. Fourth and five for Holstein. Dumps it back to Reed. Has to make two men miss and cannot. Is blown up at the 20 by Caleb Johns. To Davis on the ground, pushing the pile. No sign, now it's a touchdown for Derek Davis, the hometown kid. Safety recruit in the country, according to the ESPN Top 300. He goes to LSU to play safety. In 2022, his second season, LSU has a plethora of injuries in the running back room. He says, coach, I can do it. Goes and plays running back, transfers here. Pitt Panthers defense and Rasheen Biles. What an opportunity for Biles, who's been mostly a special teams guy, comes right in on the on the blitz through that right B gap. Probably didn't think he was going to come scot free. They averaged 20 points per game last year. That was last in the ACC. Already 21 was still 10 minutes and change in the first half. And that is a tackle for loss by Stephen Daly, who has been excellent. Holstein with all kinds of time, checks it down underneath. Holstein under duress, tucks it, and has a first down. And that is what his dad... Dustin Fox, he said, my kid's got some wheels. No, he definitely does. I mean, he's not a 4-3 guy, but he's not a 5-flat guy. He's somewhere in between, probably more around a 4-7. Pick up a first down just like that. Free play, free play. Free play for Holstein. He's going to take a shot to Mumfield, making a diving catch at the sticks for a first down. And off goes to Daniel Carter, following blockers. And a pickup of five. And have seen more of Carter and Davis, who will rotate behind him. Carter again. First down and more. Carter spinning to the 10. And another pit first down. And you can see Daniel Carter and company running right behind the middle of this offensive line as they continue to push and grind inside the 10-yard line. Empty set for Holstein. Goes to the end zone and connects for a touchdown with Poppy Williams. Having himself an absolutely monster day, 14-17, to 17, 152, a couple of tutties. That one, pretty easy. This is what all the buzz was about right. around Pittsburgh this offseason with Cade Bell coming in. And that handoff going nowhere fast. Kai Thomas is brought down in the backfield. Can just see the interior of that defense, and then you bring pressure behind it. To Douglas, three straight running plays, and it goes nowhere again. The pit front seven swallowing up this Kent State rushing attack. What the philosophy is here, what the mindset is here with this ball game. I think it was very interesting, Matt. Is this punt's gonna roll? And Mumfield fields it, it goes out of his hands. Still loose, picked up by Kent State. There it goes for a touchdown. Naeem Muhammad, house call. Hello. The crazy sort of play 
you know, those are always dangerous, you know, when you try to field those, those punts on the hop, especially consider this. I know it looks great now because the sun's out, but the field's wet. I mean, we just saw a, a, a driving rainstorm come through for about 15 minutes. And so that ball, when it bounces on the ground, it gets damp. And so he's trying to field it, and all of a sudden it, it squirts out. Couldn't have asked for a better start. Desmond Reed gains five. I think he was a surefire Walter Payton Award winner had he played the entire season. Oh, what a catch by Kenny Johnson, securing a first down on a low throw by Eli Holstein. There's nothing better. There's no better feeling than that. Holstein down to his running back, Desmond Reed. Gets across the 40. Wasting no time here on third and two to get to the line of scrimmage. Back to Reed. Has the first, barreling up the middle. Now nine for 56, averaging 6.2 a carry. Goodness. Holstein quickly out wide. And it is Kenny Johnson again. Holstein connects across the 30 with his man Sincere Lee, the transfer from Western Carolina. By Eli Holstein. Quickly again. Lee again. Shaking free for another first down. Quickly out wide. And again, Sincere Lee, that's the third straight catch by Sincere Lee on this drive. We talked about it a couple times, 5'8", 175. He, he runs like he's about 220. Here's a throw to the end zone, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Alex Branch. Room to run for Kent State. Branch, one man to beat, and shoved out of bounds by Desmond Reed. Next drive, a pick nearly takes this to the house. A poor decision, I think, by, by Holstein, a little pressure. You just let that sail. He throws it off his back foot. So he doesn't have a lot of accuracy. But I give him credit. Or at least get in field goal position for right. Andrew Glass. Absolutely. He is hit from 48. His longest last year. Pressure again up the middle. Cargeman is hit. Looking for Floria. And intercepted. Picked off by Donovan McMillan. Hey, on Devin Cargeman. 90 is going to be all the way upfield. He does a good job working against that right side. That's Gandy with the tip and then McMillan with the pick. And I guess it's just as good as a punt in that situation because there won't be uh, most likely another drive here. Four wide receivers set with Desmond Reed in the backfield. They will get 10 or 11 by Sincere Lee. They have a big-legged kicker, Ben Sauls. And they will pick up another first down. All of a sudden, Sincere lead late in the first half. Third and long. Cargeman looking for McCray. Somehow made the catch. But Fourth and, um, excuse me, a turnover on downs that ends up going back first and goal. It's Tommy Ulitowski, his first snap of the game, and he runs it ahead for a first down. Many thought Ulitowski was going to be the incumbent after starting three games last year. Here's Kai Thomas shaking off tacklers and three finished. They go back to the ground. It's Cargeman this time lunging ahead for a first down. Low snap. Cargeman up off the turf and finds Floria near the sticks. That's what they really lacked last season. Cargeman a dart over the middle. And it's Krishan McCray. In the first half offensively. Off throws from Cargeman going deep. This one to the end zone. And it is caught for a touchdown. Krishan McCray over the outstretched arms of P.J. O'Brien. Take a double look at uh, if he secures the football. Offensive Kent State, they could do nothing in the first half. Only ran 24 offensive plays. And you pointed out that drive. They ran 11 
on just that drive alone. Kenny Johnson with some room, brings it out across the 30. Holstein to the air, finds Kanate Mumpfield out near midfield with a first down. If you're just joining us, Caleb Johns, the starting Mike linebacker for Kent State. Eli Holstein, the quarterback, the freshman quarterback here for Pitt. How's he deal with a little bit of adversity? Desmond Ray, give it to him, slashing up the middle to the end zone. Touchdown, Pitt. Football team than what you saw in 2023. Explosive plays, and you can see this guy. Obviously, we knew coming into this game it was going to be probably a, a one a 1B type of deal with Rodney Hammond Jr., who yesterday was ruled ineligible, so all of a sudden those third down conversions and a fourth down conversion, oh, by the way. Floria, far sideline, spins out of a tackler, across the 50, shakes a second, and he's inside pit territory. In a 1-11 and 11 type of a team, as we go back and take a look at Floria one more time, I just think that the sky's the limit now when they feel like they've got a quarterback in there in Karsman. Well, what's so remarkable about these two young men, Luke Florey and Krishan McCray, is that last season they did not have an answer at quarterback. Right. Or Devin Karsman. Karsman making his case here in the second half. Kai Thomas. Spin move. Thomas lowers the shoulder and turns ahead for a first down and a pickup of nine. To get this to maybe be a one-score game or a two-score game going to the fourth quarter, they felt like they would have a chance. Cargeman, play action over the middle, tipped, ball in the air, and it is intercepted. Transfers in here to Pitt, and, and you see 36, balls batted up in the air, picked off by Key Thompson. And he knocks it through. For Reed, and fortunately for Kent State, he does. He picks the right side. Holstein fakes, then finds a man wide open. It's Gavin Bartholomew, the tight end, still going to the 35. That's what Cade Bell does in his offense. They're not going to change. That ball was batted at the line of scrimmage. To the air again, and that is caught for a touchdown. Kenny Johnson. When I asked Kate Bell, I said, who is probably the target you would look to go to in the red zone? He said, Kenny Johnson. And I said, why? And he said, because of the 50-50 balls. This is, a, he said, Kenny Johnson. And I said, why? And he said, because of the 50-50 balls. This is exactly that. It's a 50-50 ball. He throws it up to his guy. Two in football, two in basketball. Went on to play at Louisiana Tech. And now passing the baton to his brother, Eli Holstein, who has looked terrific. Five wide on second and three for Devin Cargeman. Pressure off the edge. He was rocked. But the, cut ma the catch made by Luke Floria. Keith Thompson was in on that hit as well. He came rolling up the middle. And now Curtis Douglas galloping ahead for seven yards. Stands at the near sideline. Empty backfield. Cargeman connects for a first down. It'll be interesting to see how this fourth quarter unfolds. Kent State has just managed to hang around. On a short game by Kai Thomas, the transfer from Kansas, who began his career with Kenny Burns. There's no short leash on Holstein. It seems like he has the entire playbook at his d disposal. Great job there by Holstein to get that out quickly with the defender on his backside. Out to Bartholomew. Well, all of a sudden, Kate Bell comes in and says, best opportunities right here in Pittsburgh. Holstein is swallowed up. Stephen Daly, who has been the MVP of Kent State's defense with the sack. It's just a one-on-one -on -one win, right? He's going up against the left tackle, Branson Taylor, 78, and just beats him. Saul's longest last year was 47, though he did tell us he hit from 56 in fall camp. This one has plenty of leg, and it splits the uprights from 50 for Ben Saul's. 
tailwind there, but I don't think it needed a tailwind. This thing's good from like 65 as Pitt extends its lead. And then the targeting call in the first half. Okay, so there's 17 points. That ball goes straight into the turf, recovered by Pitt. They're saying it was a fumble. There's an incomplete pass. It was almost like the officials were a little bit unsure. They kind of let it play out. And Played in six games overall. First play from scrimmage is tipped and caught by Sincere Lee. You are now flushed and brought down. And you asked Pat Narduzzi, the head coach for Pitt. Uh, they, they obviously, they compete against each other, but you have to support one another when you're in that quarterback room, and that's what they've done. Oh, watch out. Desmond Reed on the draw. Reed looking for blockers and turns inside the 10. The dude's got like 211 yards of total all-purpose yards. Oh, this is going to the corner of the end zone to Poppy Williams. Touchdown, Nate Yarnell. Touchdown, Pitt. <laughs> this is a great throw by Yarnell coming in cold off the bench. Now it's a little bit easier when you're, uh, your wide receiver's running with a defender like three yards behind him, but nonetheless. Last couple of drives, they've had him third and long, pinned deep in their own territory. Pressure off the edge. Cardsman will go down. Just flying around now for Pittsburgh. This is a, a pretty big pressure by Pitt. You know, third and 16, they're saying, we're just going to bring the kitchen sink. Back to first and 10 from the 30. And a nice game by Curtis Duff. The rest of the season, Cincinnati on, on deck, and then West Virginia in the backyard brawl. Cardsman got slammed to the turf. Ali Fisher makes the catch. Regardless of how this game ends for Kent State, his teammates have to respect the toughness and leadership he's shown this afternoon. Douglas, again, sifting through the defense for five yards. It's going to be a lot of fun to check out, check out that game later on. And for Notre Dame, an opportunity to get a massive top 20 win on the road. As that ball is charred loose and scooped up. A turnover for Brandon George and the Pitt defense. And there's really nothing Karsman can do. He's trying to step up in the pocket. You've got the pressure coming off the edge. And that's just a great job by Brandon George. Not only does he strip the football, but he's aware and he gets on the ball. And the six-year senior running back, Daniel Carter, in the backfield. And if you're a Pitt Panthers football fan, fourth down and two. Yarnell to pass. He finds the other tight end, Jake Overman, who has plenty for a first down, transferring over from Oregon State. All different terminology, so much to learn. Yarnell keeps it, showing some physicality, lunging ahead for a first down. Not only that, but the offense he ran last year. They, they go for, to a spread NFL style of offense. Yarnell again showing his wheels. And is taken down shy of the 20 after a gain of six. That they haven't had good quarterback play in quite some time since Kenny Pickett played. Well, certainly not consistent, right? Keaton no, Slovis yeah. was a terrific quarterback, dealt with injuries in Death Valley at 8 p.m. All three games available also on the ESPN app. Tommy Ulitowski now the quarterback for Kent State. Uh, and then that is, is Knoxville and then Happy Valley. How right. about that? I mean, it's just. It's a gauntlet it's a, of a schedule an absolute, in September. Absolute gauntlet before you, be, you begin MAC play. Saturday, September 7th. First test against another P4 team, but what a win in year 10 of the Pat Narduzzi era. 55 points, most points scored 
since November of 2021.